Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and today I'm going to show you how to do some very basic needle sculpting to add some shape and definition to your softies. So I have here a foot. It's already got some nice three-dimensional shape, but I want to sculpt a couple of toes into it. So I've got my foot already stuffed. I have a long needle. This is called a doll needle. It's about five inches long, and I sell these in my shop, or you can get them in any fabric store. You don't need to have a fancy store to get these. And I have a long piece of thread. Basically, it's as long as my arms will stretch. This is hand quilting thread, which is a little bit stronger than regular thread. You can use regular thread, but since I had quilting thread, I'm going to use it. And I've already got a knot tied in the end of my thread. So what you're going to do is put your needle up in the bottom of the foot or anywhere in the body if you're sculpting other shapes. And then you're going to come out in the top and I'm going to come out right at the bottom. What I'm doing is sculpting little dents where the toes are going to be. So this is the bottom of that line of definition. So I'm going to bring my needle out and then I'm going to pull that thread until that knot is sitting right on the surface. And you just give it a little pop and it'll go inside and that needle will just kind of get buried and trapped inside the stuffing in there. So now I'm going to pinch this together where I want the, um, the, the deepest part of this line to be. So I'm going to pinch that together a little bit. I'm going to carry my thread around the front of the foot. I'm going to go into the bottom where I want the bottom of that line to be. And then I'm going to come up again on the top right where I came out before. So you can see I'm coming out again right where that thread came out on my last pass. I'm going to pinch it together and pull that through. And I'm, you would usually use a matching thread, but obviously I'm using a dark thread here so you can really see the, see the thread once I get it on there. And I'm going to let go here, but it's going to slide. So you're going to pinch it, cinch it a little bit tight. See how it's dipping in a little bit on the top there? Keep that pinch held, and then do that same stitch again. And just keep it pinched. And try and get your threads right on top of each other there. And just, there's another one. So I'm going to repeat that again. And I'm going to repeat this a few times. What I want, ideally, is for that stitch to hold even when I'm not pinching it together. It's still slipping a little bit, so I'm going to do another stitch. And the slipping is more something that I can feel. It's not something that I think you can see very clearly in the, um, in the video. I've got that in there. Now I'm going to let up just a little bit, and that's holding now. But it, I could feel it slip just a little bit as I let go. So what I'm going to do is do one more stitch just to get it extra secure. Again, I want that thread to go right into that groove that I created. All right, so that's going to hold it. Now I want to create another one on the other side here. I want to create three toes on this foot. So I'm going to wrap it around again. I'm going to go into the bottom of the line there, and this time when I come out, I'm going across the foot a little bit, and I'm going to come out where I want my next line to go. I just need to get that thread over, and now I'm going to do the same thing over here and pinch it tight. needle in, come out in the same place, and obviously you don't want your thread to go all wonky and crooked, so use your fingers to smooth it where you want it to go. Once you get that first one in there, it's easier. Now hold that in place and do a few more stitches just like you did for that first toe. Okay. 
when you first start sewing this, that thread is going to seem crazy, crazy long because you're having to really stretch your arm back to pull all the thread through or even do a couple of pulls on it. But it's amazing how much thread you use as you wrap these toes over and over again. So don't be skimpy with your thread. Give yourself plenty to work with and just be aware that it's going to be a little awkward for the first two passes, the first few passes until your thread shortens up a little bit. All right, so that's holding now, but again, I felt it slip just a little bit as I let go. So I'm going to do one more one more stitch. All right, so now I've got my toes done. And again, if I were using matching thread, it would look a little bit neater. Right now you can kind of see the gaps a little bit between some of the threads. So I'm going to show you how to tie this off. So you're going to go in where you've been going in so that your thread wraps right with the others. And just bring it out anywhere, anywhere else on the foot. And now I'm going to, I need to use two hands, so I've got to set that down. I'm going to tie a little knot here. Just wrap it around the needle, pinch it, and pull that through, and I'll get a little needle, fairly a little knot, fairly close to the surface there. I'm going to go in. This is just like I buried my knot to start with. I'm going to go in right near where I came out before. Come out anywhere. Pull that until the, need, till the knot is sitting right snug on the surface and then just give it a little pop and it'll disappear inside. And then you can just give this a little bit of a tug, snip it off, and when it, the tension is released when you make the cut, that tail will disappear right inside the foot. So now you can't see your knots, you can't see your tails, and your foot now has little toes. So that's it. It's actually really easy to sculpt something like toes and fingers. There are a little more complicated sculpting that you can do that we'll maybe do in a later video where you're sculpting cheeks and noses and things like that on a face. But these kinds of wraps on the outside to create dents in the surface of your fabric is a really great way to start needle sculpting your softies. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.